So you just opened up the session. Uh, you have it in front of you. You're ready to start triggering shouts. <laughs> and, you know, you, you're looking around and you notice that everything looks different than what you're used to. You know, you're used to, to Logic or the Pro Tools setup, how the interface looks for it and all that kind of stuff. It's a lot different, but it's easy. I'm going to show you right now. All right, so basically the great thing about it is I've already set up everything for you. This session is ready to go. All you really have to do is just press play. And where you do that is over here on the right side, uh, here are your scene buttons right here, which will start each scene. You saw in the video where I said scene one, scene two, scene three. Well, here they are right here. So just by pressing one of these play buttons right here, it'll start a scene automatically. Okay, so like I said, it's already ready. Now, uh, on the APC Mini that you saw in the video, uh, your scene buttons will actually be right here, okay? And they line up with the tracks, okay? So basically, here's how it works. You'll see that all your tracks are just lined up right here. This is the first track, second track, third. This is your loop, kick, drum track, bass, piano, organ, brass. Audio clips, that's all they are. You just drop them in there and they play and they just loop, okay? So all of these are set at the same eight measures and they all just loop together. And when you press play on one of the scenes, it plays them all together. So that's where you get all the individual tracks in sync. So just like I did earlier, pressing play, it played all the tracks on this particular scene one, okay? Now on the APC Mini, uh, your scene buttons go up and down just like they do in the software. And they just go across, straight across from where the tracks are. So all these are the tracks and these are the scenes. So pressing the first scene right here, which you saw in the video. Okay, it's the same thing. It's just, that's the software version. Here's the hardware version, okay? So now also you can play, if you notice each one of these have a little play button, uh, play icon right there, and you can play any one of them separately. So I could just play the shout, uh, just the loop. You know, I can add a kick in. And if I'm ready to just play all of them, Okay, here on the APC Mini, it's the same thing. I can just start one and it'll start playing. I can add another one if I want to. If I want to add the bass in, I can do that. Okay, and I can stop all of them. It's that simple. You know, a lot of people look at this APC Mini and they think, oh, that's a drum machine with a lot of pads. It's not a drum machine. <laughs> it's just a trigger. That's all it really is. It just triggers what you see uh, here in this area right here. Whatever's here, it shows up on here. If there's nothing, if I delete something out of here, watch, it will delete from the APC Mini. You see? All right? So when I put it back, it's back. So basically, when it's yellow, that means it's not playing. When it's green, that means it's playing. Or it's about to play. If it's, if it's blinking, that means it's, it's cued to play. All right, so let's talk about the cues. All right, so um, as you can see, I have mine set at two bars. And basically what that means is um, if, you, if you hit it right after the downbeat of the one, it's going to give you two measures before the next thing comes in. So I'll show you what I'm talking about by switching scenes, okay? So if I press one, it's counting off two bars right now. All right, I'm gonna press the next scene. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, so now if you see how I stopped it on here, I press shift and stop all clips, this little one right here. I hit hold shift and just hit stop all clips and it'll stop everything. Now you can set this, you know, to one measure. You can set, you know, two, four bars, eight bars, whatever you want. It's like you can get real technical with it down here, but I like to keep it on two bars because I think that's enough time to, you know, to to know what's gonna happen next and to be able to hit it. Now, uh, people 
So ask me, do you have to have the APC Mini to run this program or to trigger everything like that? Absolutely not. You can actually trigger everything from your laptop just like you trigger from the APC Mini. All you have to do is just assign uh, what you want to happen you know, to your keyboard here. So how do you do that? Very, very simple. You just come over here to where it says key, okay? And you notice everything just turns orange and all kind of different colors. And all you do is go, since these are your scenes right here, you click on one scene and you just say, you can, you can really use any button you want to, any key on your keyboard, but since it's scene one, why not use the number one for scene one, okay? Let's just stop right there. Once I hit key again and I get out of that, now when I hit the number one, it'll start the scene. It's that simple. Scene two, just go to key, and you can just go down the line. Scene two, come here, go to scene three, type three, scene four, press four. Whatever you press, that's what it's gonna set it. And it's very, very easy to do, as you can see. Scene five, six, seven. I can go all the way down to eight or however many scenes I have. All right, so now that I have that, now whatever number I press is going to start that scene. Scene two. Scene three. Scene four. Stop. Boom. So now, you, as you can see, you don't have to have the APC Mini to use the shout trigger. You can use it straight from a laptop. It doesn't matter if it's a Mac or a PC. It doesn't matter. It all works the same. It's just numbers. You just coordinate the number with the scene, and there you have it. So just by pressing one, stop. Press two. Now my trigger's on my laptop. Or I, like I said, I can come over here. Okay. Now, well, why not just use a laptop? You know, why even bother with the APC Mini or any other Ableton controller? Well, I like it because it gives you a little bit more options. I mean, you have your faders here where you can actually control your mix or if something that you don't need, you know, you can take it out. But you can also do it on the laptop. And it's just right down here. These little faders right here, if you just drag them up or down, it'll control the mix just like anything else. You know, if I start it. I want to take the loop out back in just solo the loop bring everything back if I have a drummer take the drums out okay I mean it works just the same again with the APC mini if I want to uh, start a scene here I put the drums back in Check it out. Maybe I don't need the bass. Okay, take the bass out. Maybe I'm playing organ, I don't need the organ. Boom. Okay, so you get the point. So, you know, like I said, you don't have to have the APC Mini. You can easily do this on a laptop, very easy, either way it goes. So it's very, very simple. So I hope this video kind of gave you a little bit more insight on how to use the shout triggers. Uh, it's very simple, as you can see, you can just start a scene, let it play, it'll play forever until you tell it to stop or until you change the scene, you can take instruments out. You know, if you have a one piece, two piece or three piece band or five, or whatever, and you just need that extra instrument, you know, or those extra instruments, they're here. You know, shout them y'all. You know what I'm saying? Once again, I appreciate you for checking out this video. This is C-Dub. Shout triggers are available at loopsbycdub.com. A very, very useful tool for your church service. Uh, more shout triggers are coming, I promise you, uh, and a lot more other things. So please get hip to this Ableton. It's easy. Don't be intimidated. This is C-Dub once again. God bless.